Yeah, buffalo hunting for me is uh, one of the exciting, most exciting animals to hunt on the African continent. It's action-packed all the way. It's highs, it's lows all the time. The big calibers we use to hunt these, these amazing beasts, the excitement, the adrenaline, the physical work that goes into hunting buffalo on the African continent. Uh, you never know what you're going to get around the next corner. Hunting the Greater Balepe area is, uh, is a wonderful place to hunt. Um, it's, not, it's not the typical Southern African game farm where you go and you've got 3,000 hectares that you're hunting. We've got 26,000 hectares that, that, that's free roaming. The animals can really go wherever they want to go and it makes it a tough, exciting hunt to hunt a Balepe tribe conservation. The terrain that, that we hunt in the Balepe Nature Reserve is, you know, there's, there's thick bush, there's Mupani felt, there's um, plains, um, there's hills. So, you know, that, that's from, from, from a hunter's point of view, it's a pretty challenging hunt. And you get, like I say, from bush to plains, to open areas, to mountains, and it's really, really challenging. It's appealing for international and local hunters to come and hunt in the Limpopo. The reason of being is the vastity of different animals you find in the area. You know, it's, it's so vast, it's, it's from dikas, tiembak, to elephants, you know, so you've got quite a big, broad spectrum of species you can hunt in the Limpopo. Okay, when Richard phoned us up and he said he was interested in hunting buffalo with us in the Greater Balepe Nature Reserve, my adrenaline started pumping and I, I just knew that this was going to be an exciting hunt for us to do. All of a sudden, we stopped at this watering hole. Trackers were excited, they went to the watering hole, started surrounding it, and all of a sudden, there it was, our first track. Yeah, it's not finished yet. When you find tracks like this, you do not hesitate. We got our guns, we packed our bags to the shooting sticks, and we started following the buffaloes. The beauty of hunting buffalo is you never know what's around the next corner. You know you're on the tracks, you know you've got this, this whole scenario set up in your mind, but you, you really gotta know what you're doing because usually it ends up in a very close encounter, so you gotta be alert at all times. It wasn't half an hour into our hunt when we picked up the first fresh sign of the buffaloes. Everybody's tension rise to the roof and we were just all excited on getting closer, as close as we can get. The buffalo passed at about five o'clock this morning. He must have been here about half past, half past five, quarter to six, he must have passed through here. Now he cock is warm, but it's not four warm. But it's fast enough to get the spur to play. We got to a section where these buffaloes have gone through and they're very large anthills that we could use to our advantage where I sent my tracker goodbye up. He looked back at us and said, you know, they're 50, they could be 50 yards away, which made our blood rise once again. Adrenaline was flowing. We were already locked and loaded. And with the advantage that we had with the anthills, I heard the oxpexes we knew this was it, this is where we had to be. I felt the wind come up our backs and all of a sudden it just broke loose. It just a thunder of hooves running through the bush. I low, I low, I low. It's happened to me before, Richard. You hear the ox beckers you come because they lie down in the shade. Or in the sun like this, behind an anthill. You come around the anthill, fuck your ears. So you know, running black. Sorry man, let's follow the tracks. The wind just wasn't on our side. Richard and I came to the decision that we gotta try and run around these buffaloes and try and break the wind coming up our backs and try and have them coming from the, from the front. Get them up, 
Don't say spy information, Vic. No, say more. Yes, it's my job, ma. Tara. Oh boy. Yes. <laughs> when you see them coming out of the bush like that, yes. Amazing. Crazy, eh? Yes. Got big old solid bosses. I don't think you'll get any older than this, Richard. A magnificent bull. A real dagger boy. Real old, old, heavy body. I mean, if, if I ever shoot a good buffalo for myself, that's what I'd want. You know, yes, character. Old, old warrior, this one. An old warrior, you know, a workhorse, you know, he's been around the block. The wonderful boss like this and the one off horn that, that, that really shows his character and his, you know, his, his battle scars. I don't think um, mm. you could have asked for any better. Congratulations once again.